The Government of Ghana, Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, and other agencies joined up last year to usher Ghana's trade to a single window system, the Integrated Customs Management System, ICOMS, deployed by Ghana Link Network Services Limited. The change stemmed from the rising cost in port transactions, delayed clearance of goods, and what government deemed a huge leakage in revenue mobilization. Another challenge stakeholders faced was the use of multiple online platforms in assessing valuation, classification, risk management and payment, which were jointly managed by the Ghana Community Network Services GCNet Limited and West Blue Consulting at the time. But this change was not without controversies and opposition from major stakeholders within the port community. And the complaints were so many that it was just a way of demoralizing any attempt to roll out. The, 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 it was like, we are warning you, if you went in, you are not likely to succeed. So that attitude initially created problems for us. But when we all looked at some of the concerns, and we realized that some would require some time, some would require some effort, some would require more capacity building, we just said, okay, let's get the ICOMS team advantage points in Tema and other places. Let's explain the process flow, let people become more conversant, let's allow them to use the two systems, the existing system and the new one for a while, so that when they get so used to the new system, then will not be, uh, as it were, uh, uh, creating problems so that people will not be able to transact business. So that period in May, 2020 was very critical. There's always a problem with change management. And anytime you're introducing a new system in any institution, any organization, in a country, for example, you need a long, sustained period of capacity building to bring on board those who are going to use the system. Again, because of the mindset and the lack of understanding and appreciation of the value of the system, there was a lot of resistance in getting uh, training to be organized for these stakeholders. I would say the transition was too swift because the movement of cargo within our port, especially in Tema, is so huge that um, transition of such uh, nature should have taken uh, some kind of uh, slow pace to get everything covered before moving from one system to another. That was a challenge. We, we could have done it far, far, far better than what was done. Yes, we never informed properly, we were never trained, we were never given the basics of the ICOMs. That made us felt that we were losing a lot out of the old system. We strongly were having some kind of fears that um, if a giant like this is living, uh, which had stayed in this country and has spent like almost 20 years and more, uh, where both agents and, and custom officers were familiar with their system, their software application that they were using. You know, when you are learning something with time, you become a consultant. And so to have a GCN that had come to stay for over 20 years, it tells you that they have invested so much into the ICT infrastructure. The ICOMS deployed by Ghana Link Network Services functions fully as an e-customs system. It was introduced to coordinate cross-border trade activities, cut costs to stakeholders, and increase government revenue mobilization. Minister for Trade and Industry Alan Tremanting explains the nature of opposition they faced trying to implement the new system. 
we were confident that once we're able gradually to build a certain level of confidence with the stakeholders, and once we're able to get them to understand the operational system and how to use the system, that they themselves will bear testimony. To be honest with you, first of all, let me give uh, some, some, some kind of uh, gratitude or appreciation to Honorable Alan Chamatin, Minister for Trade and Industry. He stepped in and then he, he, he tried to calm everybody down, all the stakeholders moving up and down. We were moving up and down with him, trying to see where the challenges are and then um, sought for solutions to it. And then also, let me also thank the, the technical team of GhanaLink. They didn't sleep. We were on them. Sometimes we will all be going home around 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. Some of them will even sleep in their offices trying to get things turned around. Yeah, there was confusion. At the same time, Freight Forwarders, especially my association, we were quite very ready to help restore, as it were, the sanity that we believe that uh, uh, should be put in place. And we also realized that there was so much good in the ICOM system. After some briefings from the government and from the operators, and we prompted them, they, they sat us down and we realized that, yes, we needed to go along with them. But the protests were short-lived. Just a few weeks into the implementation of ICOMs, the superiority of a new system compared to its predecessors were so glaring. The port community had come to understand its workings and the improvement it had brought. This system has really stabilized the clearance of goods and I can assure you within a day you should be able to clear a consignment from the port. The manifest system that's being used now is very difficult for you even to manipulate, if not impossible. And the other system is even about the fact that even at times too, you could, it was very common hearing that uh, Hey, a container is missing at the port. Yes, you can't even find the container. Some, somebody will go and pay duty for one, con one uh, container and you will be able to take about 10 containers out of the port. Now it's not possible. It's not possible. The containers are electronically controlled from the very day the vessel arrives to until it gets to a terminal. Monitored so well that you can't uh, manipulate it, the system. So my assessment, I say so far so good, like I was saying, um, they have done quite a bit. I mean, things they've done, I've talked about the pre-declaration, you know, pre-entry uh, that we're doing, the, you know, enhancement of our payment systems, that now we have several banks where you can make payments, the ease of uh, 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 making payments, which is very viable, okay? And so that has been very good. The innovation was launched to revive the trade sector and came as a direct successor of the former pre-arrival assessment report system, PASS, and the Ghana Customs Management System, GCMS. For it allows for effective monitoring. Unlike previously where you have various other systems that are trying to send data to one another. And you know sometimes when data is moving from one system to another, if it's not online, if it's not timely, and it has to take days, people are able to do manipulations in such a system. The feedback we've received from all the stakeholders, right from MPS, which was one of the you know, key terminal operators we needed to onboard on time to enable ICOM's rollout in Tema, is very positive. Today, MPS partnership with ICOM's is so impressive that, I mean, you would uh, just need to have an engagement with them to get to know about how they are extremely comfortable with the ICOMs. The shipping lines will still say the same. And in our engagement with the 
support um, community, the ICOMS has got an A plus rating. And our gantry cranes store it in a 3D matrix, you know, for later the reverse of the delivery to the consignee. So, uh, clearing agent or consignee applies, declares his cargo, he pays the duty, he pays his handling charges, obtain the clearance from the shipping line electronically. He reaches to us on our website electronically and basically he pays, he goes into our task truck appointment system, book a service in our system and all of that, every step of the way we are interacting and getting clearance, you know, you cannot access our truck appointment system if the custom system has not released you through ACOMS. So we are interacting every step of the way with the community system to check this. He adds that the implementation has been a complete success and an improvement in the running of a port. The one thing I would like to kind of put on record, it's been quite a successful journey because we kept achieving key milestones in the integration of uh, this paperless system encompassing all those stakeholders into an ecosystem that is currently functioning and running. So it's been a quite a success story. The introduction of the um, ICOMS had really aided um, our business, not to talk of um, even the release or the, the delivery allowed system where Finally, customs have to uh, release the cargo as a bonded terminal before it, it goes out. I mean, in all these processes, whether through the shipping line who will be issuing deals or from the agent who will also be um, doing an online booking for us to position the container or even release when it comes to final release. I think the system has supported us in all these areas. As a single window for processing documents and payments, the ICOMS allows users to create unique consignment reference, UCR, an exclusive number for easy identification and tracking of all cargo. One year on, the verdict is clear. For the first time in our history and for many years, the monthly revenue mobilization has not gone below 1 billion Ghana cities. It has brought a lot of significant changes in our performance. The first one is the revenue. We can say that in the year 2020, when there was COVID, we had revenue of 341,465,607.66 Ghana cities. And uh, in a year, compared to 2019, we had 313,509,181.51. Within a period, of six months, that's from June to December. The figures speak for themselves. So if you took the four months in 2020 before full implementation of ICOMS, our fortunes in terms of revenue were dwindling. Then the full implementation came and from May through June to July, we started always passing the 1 billion mark. And consistently, for a greater part of 2020, from May down to December, the minimum we had was 1.2 billion. We were able to get 1.3 billion for about four months, and indeed, we passed 1.5 billion. So, going by the figures, and at a time that we were faced with a global pandemic, where imports, volumes of imports were going down and we were able to still get more revenue than we were getting 
when we were in normal times, I could say to a very large extent that the implementation of ICOMS helped in enhancing our revenue mobilization. The Director General of the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, Michael Luguje, says the ICOMS streamlines the tracing of missing cargoes and features end-to-end -end tracking, which does not allow any operator to tamper with figures, thereby increasing port revenue generation. It has been a success, a success story, which is exciting because it means a going concern, which means that we are going to, if one year down the line we have good stories to tell, then it means we are only about starting, we are going to improve further going down the line. But generally, I think the feedback has been that it has really improved costs of doing business because of the integrated nature of it, you know, compared to the previous situation where we had different satellite systems, the GC net, the, the West Blues, and then the CASAM system itself. Now we have a single end-to-end -end system, which has helped to really save time, that saved cost, that's also you know, brought about an enhanced security feature. The Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority is happy that ICOMS also features a standby human resource management model that identifies officers assigned to a consignment and records the period in which activities on the consignment were carried out. Of course, the, the, the system itself, I think we, we work, apart from our experience as a port, as far as we get cargo running to our ports concerned, we are also working with customs itself and looking at on a day-to-day -day basis, what are the improvements we are supposed to make in order to be able to get uh, our ports decongested and cargoes cleared quickly through our ports. I think one, one of the expectations, which is already envisaged anyway, within ICOMS is the, the e-auction opportunity that's going to come. That is key because today we have a lot of cargoes that are sitting within our port terminals, congestion spaces, because of challenges customs has in, in more or less synchronizing the auctioning process to ensure that cargoes that are that are meant to be auctioned, actually are auctioned quickly and they leave the port's facilities to create space. The Food and Drugs Authority, FDA, checks food and medicine that come into the country. The authority's head of import and export control, Emmanuel Yaokwating, says ICOMS provides all the needed assistance on one platform without the need to switch between different systems to access varied services. It has been an experience. Um, we can compare with all the other systems that we used to have and say that it has been a blessing to have the ICOMS. Why do I say that? It's, it's on a single, single window platform. And on a single window platform, um, we see um, whatever transactions uh, goes on on the system. Um, our clients see us, we see them, we see customs, we see um, all the other regulatory agencies and we can compare notes. We have a lot of compliance from our clients because now our clients have to just um, present their, their documentation and then it just couplets um, on the entire system and everybody sees it. So it, it helps in our clients' um, compliance. Um, using the ICOMS. ICOMS has lived up to its much touted capacity to largely eliminate the revenue leakages in the import and export trade. They are straightforward. They have written a letter to the Commissioner General and they have also written a letter to even the board um, at the time actually to appreciate and to um, express the appreciation for the implementation of the ICAMS and some of the good things that they have come their way as a result of the implementation. And therefore, we are quite happy because if the stakeholders for whom this was done are able to say that it's working better than the previous one, then we have no other thing to say. We are quite grateful. Then for us also on the other side, who are also looking at the revenue, we also know that the revenues are increasing. So if you are, it's a, so effectively it's, it's resulting in effectiveness and efficiency. Effectiveness in terms of the customer satisfaction and efficiency in terms of the reduction in cost and increase in um, revenue. 
was so difficult writing our reports in the olden days because you, you need to go around, cast, uh, go to customs, go to uh, vet, go to everybody looking for data to make a report. Now the data is seated on our PC and at the touch of a button, yes, we are able to get our reports. It's a big plus um, from ICOMS. ICOMS has on the platform various payment, um, payment regimes. We have Ghana.gov, which accepts payment in all forms of um, electronic payment. Um, even as low as mo um, money uh, mobile money, okay, which makes it so convenient. But the biggest of all is that FDA is able to, at the close of a day, we can determine that this is a quantum of transactions or uh, charges or fees that has come to government. This has also led to a lot of cost savings for the declarants. This is because you make payment ahead of the arrival of the, of the ship or your cargo, which means that whatever rate applies today with the exchange rate is what you would pay. And government also has the money ahead of, 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 your, of the arrival of your goods and, and it's, it's really smoothing the processes. Um, so that is with facilitating trade and, and, and ensuring that things run very, very smoothly at, at, at reduced cost. What advantage declarants also has, have is that they are, the issue about demoral charges, rent charges, and all those are out of the way because you've, you've been able to go through all the processes ahead of the arrival of the, of the, of the, of the ship. This is cost savings, I mean, to, 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 to declarants. So, one year on, major stakeholders are impressed with Ghana Link's ICOMS at the ports. The ICOMS portal saw a major facelift in interface design and the application of standard web technology to simplify navigation and help cross-border traders understand it better. The highly trained team of Ghana Link's network services is keenly monitoring the system to identify the gaps incorporate stakeholder feedback to continuously improve and make it effective. Government is working with the board and management of Ghana Links to expand the services into other areas of business and trade. The future of this public-private partnership is exciting. And there is a lot of technology creativity that can actually uh, be developed, you know, with the ACOMS, you know, that will make the customers more uh, uh, um, engaged in the process. The other thing is the uh, cash transactions. We need to go away from the cash transactions. The other aspect has to do more with the the timing of transactions within the within the within the system. At least. Several agents are supposed to play a role, several officers are supposed to play a role in getting the cargo clearance end-to-end -end successful. How to time that and be able to report in real time as to every entity that played a role in the particular chain, how much time they spent and whether they could have done better than they've done, that will also be an opportunity for us to all be able to, uh, to work with and, and get things improved. These are recommendations Ghana Link is ready for. So the future is bright. We have a 10-year contract and we are in our first year. What I can tell you is, in the years to come, we are going to ensure that we reduce the number of fiscal inspections of cargo to 10% based on induced high compliance. We've rolled out, finished with the rollout of our first phase models and we are working vigorously on the rollout of our second phase models. This will start from the end of June to the end of the year. Um, I could mention a few of, of, of these models. We are looking at an e-auction model. Currently, the auction processes are largely manual at the port. But what we are doing is to ensure that this is made electronic. We are also working on um, an advanced passenger information system. This will be used at the airport. This is supposed to help in profiling both um, 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 the passengers who are coming and the cargo they are coming with. I also hope that our immigration 
system and the movement of people will be fully integrated also into the ICOMS to ensure that when it becomes necessary to track the movement of goods in respect of importers, the new system that we are implementing would have a data warehouse that captures all these elements. It's been one year of excellence and total transformation, thanks to Ghana Link's ICOMS. Ghana Link itself, I want to say congratulations for piloting this project and getting it to travel a year down the line. Because anybody would have told that even one year is not enough for you to move from uh, the transition phase. But fortunately, we've been able to, we can, I think if we are counting gains, it means that to a large extent, we've traveled if we haven't crossed even the transition, we are at the end of it and we are then going to move into growth and, bet and better expansion. So we can only wish you all the best to be able to keep on researching, keep on researching and bringing new uh, add-ons that will help us even be better than we are today. So far, feedback we have been receiving from the sub-region, many are coming to look at the ICOM system to see how it is working and learning from it. The feedback is that it's quite a positive one.